Rob, thank you so much for joining us. You know, you pointed out, I believe, that the last three years have been so very volatile. Within the last eight quarters, you've reached an average gross profit or an adjusted gross profit, hitting a new low and a new high just in the last eight quarters. A nice quarter here, though, with adjusted gross profit per truckload up 48 percent year over year. If the economy does soften, as suggested in this morning's GDP print, what happens to your business? Yeah, good morning, Courtney and Carl. Thanks for having me here. You know, the great news about our business is that we've got an extremely resilient non-asset based model. And we grew earnings this last quarter by 85 percent. But if you look back to the second quarter of last year, we grew we grew earnings by 35 percent. So different parts of the freight cycle, but still really strong growth. If we do start getting into a recessionary environment, what we see is many of our clients look to reduce their fixed costs and look to the supply chain as an area of savings. So we tend to see growth in our outsourced business and, and some of our more managed services types business. So our model is extremely resilient. We have a, we're the leader in the market of 3% market share, but a tremendous amount of market share to, to gain regardless of the economic conditions. And how does it work then, Bob, um, as prices change? You, you typically have 12-month contracts, but you do also use the spot market as well. So how do you make sure that your customers stay with you? Do you allow them some flexibility in negotiating the contracts that are already in place if prices change dramatically? Yeah, in our trucking business, about 60% of our portfolio is tied to contract business, which is typically 12 months in nature. And that's always a fluid environment in terms of pricing working with customers in times of increasing costs as well as decreasing costs to ensure that no one party in the supply chain is really disadvantaged from the market. So that will always fluctuate. But also, as you said, the spot market is an important strategic consideration for our customers to use in times like this where the spot market is less expensive than the contract market typically. So using that strategically is a way that we help our customers to manage their costs through this type of environment. So you do say, Bob, you do expect uh, truckload costs per mile to decline further sequentially and year on year. You mentioned manufacturing, and we've been watching the PMIs pretty closely, but you mentioned housing as well. Uh, can you just talk about just how much those are weighing on the market, or at least on pricing? Yeah, you know, it's hard to really pinpoint which one of those sectors is weighing on pricing, but clearly the trucking market is different today than it was 12 months ago. You know, an earnings call yesterday, we cited retail, housing, and, and manufacturing being three really primary drivers of, of freight volumes. Manufacturing has held up really the best out of those three. Retail is an interesting one to look at in the fact that it, it accounts for about 10 percent of our domestic volumes. And in first quarter, we saw increases in, in volumes in retail, of, an increase of about 4 percent. And in second quarter, it declined about 4 percent. So really, the consumer is what you know, we're looking at closely there and, and trying to understand how the balance of the freight markets will play out this year. That is really interesting, Bob, and obviously I, I cover retail pretty closely. What do you believe that is suggesting? Does that suggest that some of the congestion within the supply chain and within the ocean freight getting to your trucks is lessening? Or is that actually more about just a fall off in demand? Is that about inventory pulled forward? How do you, how do you read through that? I think there's a number of factors at play. One, I think some of this is just the aftermath of the supply chain disruption that we had last year. I mean, we've been in a period where ocean service reliability has been in the low 30 percent range over the course of the past year. That's slightly improving, but simply put, I think we have inventory that is out of place relative to seasonality. In terms of, you know, the current look at, at the peak and the current look of, of, of ocean freight, I think we're going to continue to see improved service levels, but we're just not back to where we were pre-pandemic.